All right, so the next thing that we're going to work on is um, kind of an effect that's that's kind of just uh, specific to Premiere. I looked really hard to see if there was a way to do this in Rush, and I was unable to find a way, unfortunately. Um, but this is, we do a pretty big unit about this in class um, at school, but because we're away, um, I'm going to kind of shorten it up and make it kind of optional because again, it's not available for everyone. Um, and that is compositing. Uh, compositing is taking two shots and and smashing them together into one and, and making it look like the thing that you're seeing that was not really there is actually there. And there's a couple ways that we can do that. Um, and I usually do this before trailers because a lot of people like to do, um, you know, action movies or horror movies or, um, you know, even dramatic films. And, you know, to have a trailer, you want to have explosions and scary effects and all those things. And um, that's where compositing uh, comes into play. So, for instance, um, if we're here in Premiere and I grab a shot of me, I think this is it right here. Yep. Um, and I'm just going to kind of fire my uh, finger guns here. All right. And now what I'm going to do is, okay, I want a, a muzzle flash, you know, if I was using you know, a more realistic looking prop. Um, I've got my, uh, you know, rubber band gun or some people use, um, you know, airsoft guns or things like that. Um, or Nerf guns work really well as well. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I film my scene and I want, I want a muzzle flash and a bang to happen when I do this. Well, I've got a couple options for that. Um, so the first thing you do is I need to track down and find a muzzle flash and a bang. And so if I get on the internet and I search for muzzle flash on green, um, you can usually find a lot of pre-made effects on YouTube um, and, and people. And same thing, you can find sound effects on YouTube. I mean, and I've searched for tons of things on green over the years. Like one time I searched for like uh, twinkle stars on green screen twinkle star green screen. there you go i used this the other day i think this might even be eh, that might be a little bit different but you know you can usually find a lot of effects on green on youtube people make them um you know for free and and you can grab them and put them in your videos um so this one here that i found there we go um and this one's really nice it even has download link in the description so you can just click here and download it um but a lot of them don't have the link in the description. So like we take this one here. Um, this one doesn't have the uh, link in the description. So what you need to do is you, you know, and we hopefully we all know how to download things off YouTube because it's 2021. But if you don't know, you're just going to copy the uh, link address of the actual video. I think you can even do it this way and hit copy. I think you can do it that way too. Um, and then we're just going to go and search for a YouTube downloader so that we can download the video off of YouTube. This one's been working okay for me, yt1s.com. Although, you know, it seems like these things are always hit or miss. Um, there we go. Um, there it is. And I'm going to hit get link. And I'm going to hit download. And I had to hit it twice, but there it is. Now I've got my... And there it is, see, free green screen muzzle flash. I've downloaded that and I've imported it into Premiere already. Um, and it's really loud, so I'm trying not to blow anybody's ears out. There it is. Um, and I've got this clip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that and slap it on my timeline. And I'm gonna turn it way down because it's super duper loud. And, it, you know, Good. Now all I have to do is remove the green. That's pretty simple to do in Premiere. Uh, I'm just going to go to my effects window and I'm searching for the effect ultra key. So if you just search for the word ultra, it'll be the only one that comes up. And if I drag ultra key to my little muzzle flask clip up here and drop it and then go to my effect controls, I have to tell it what color it is I would like in see ultra key key color, what color it is that I would like to 
erase. And so I hit my little dropper and I say, I want to erase green. There we go. And now I have just my muzzle flash there. So now it's just a matter of timing. I just need to figure out when I, where I pull the trigger right about there and then put the muzzle flash right at that moment. Probably zoom. There it is. And then just double click on the muzzle flash and I'm gonna move it and I'm gonna spin it a little bit and I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. There we go. And then when I play it, perfect. Looks good. Um, and it works really well because I have the image and the sound effect. Um, if I don't have the sound effect, it doesn't quite feel as good. Um, so you definitely always want to have both. Same thing goes, I remember there was one year that people made a video and their Nerf guns had sound effects, but they didn't have any muzzle flashes. So then it's like, I mean, it, it just doesn't, doesn't have the same kind of resonance it does when it's got both the, the sound and the image on it. Um, and so you can get any kind of anything that's green on YouTube um, and just use ultra key to remove the green. Um, like I said, I've gotten twinkly stars, falling cherry blossom, smoke, broken glass, sparks, fireworks. I mean, it's all available out there. Um, if that, uh, but I have something that can even work even better for you if you really want. Um, so here's another shot of me pretending to kind of warm my hands by the fire. Um, I am going to make available for you guys my server, which has um, this folder, uh, the Action Essentials 2K folder. It's about 28 gigabytes of pre-keyed uh, effect footage. So I've got blood, I've got dirt, dust, explosions, fire, glass, muzzle flashes, powder, particles, sparks, wall hits, water, all sorts of things um, in this uh, pack. And they're pre-keyed, which is really cool. So um, if I take something like explosions and we're going to take, uh, let's just take explosion one and throw that into here. Um, and I drop that on my timeline. You'll see that it already, I don't even have to do anything to it. Um, it's already keyed because it has a transparency layer built into it, um, which is pretty cool. That one doesn't quite work so well. Let's find the fire um, that I was using earlier. Where are you? Big fire, I think. There it is. There we go. And it's like the whole ping pong tables on fire here. And then, like I said, if we add a sound effect to this, it'll really set it off. There we go. That looks good. And uh, those are all pre-keyed. So they automatically know to make it transparent um, through the through the image. Um, so I tried to get those to work on Rush, but my phone, I don't know if my phone doesn't recognize what a transparent video is, which I'm betting is the problem. Um, for a long time, when you would try to open these videos um, in Windows Movie Player, they wouldn't play. It would say an error has occurred because um, because Windows Movie Player didn't know how to handle transparent video. Um, it seems to work now. I tried it earlier today. I mean, maybe I just have the right codecs installed or something. But um, yeah, it seems it seems to work now. Um, but uh, I used to always tell people, well, just just throw them all in Premiere. Premiere knows how to handle uh, the transparent video, and uh, and you'll be in business. And then um, also, right, you can just search for a fire sound effect on YouTube, download that, and then just only use the audio of it. Or there's sound effect websites out there, free sound effects, and you can um, find things that way as well. Um, so that is kind of the, the quick and dirty uh, compositing lesson, right? By using ultra key um, for things that are green, um, you, can, you can get some pretty good looking stuff or you can download and like if I really kind of go nuts on this, like um, I grabbed one of the blood bursts earlier and I put that on, you know, on me over here. And so that looks like Got kind of the that 
blood burst and then i put i put the sparks on the on the uh little electrical switch over here so it looked like it was shorting out go and then i grabbed some smoke i know i had smoke in here somewhere wisp that's what it's called wisp I don't know what we would do with that. We'll just have that be over here. And we can line it up exactly with the rotation of the ping pong table or something like that. There we go. Now it's just all sorts of things are happening. You know, you can use this these wisps with or the smoke with in conjunction with like a pop cut, um, which is what they did in the Droodle Bob um, trailer, right? When, when Droodle Bob... Uh, disappeared there was like that splash kind of effect that happened um i think when he blows the top of the eraser and like i think it's like he searched he i think you remember him saying oh i just searched for like green screen feathers and i just used the feathers to as looking like eraser shavings that i'm blowing off the top of the pencil um so you can you know stack as many different effects together as you want um and like i said there's so many it's 30 gigs just about um, let's just take smoke three and see what this one looks like. I think there's some that can just kind of fill the room with smoke or maybe that's under fog. Cause this is looking like it's kind of, that's pretty cool though. It definitely makes it look a little smokier in there. Add that with the fire. Looks good. Maybe there is a, is there a fog? Fire glass sparks. Yeah. You could always look for, you know, fog on, on, uh, on YouTube if you need to, um, so I had an Action Essentials 1, but I think I only have uh, a couple, but there's only two files in there. Action Essentials 2 is where all the good stuff is. Broken glass, falling glass, glass smash, glass hit. It's all good stuff that you can really make some crazy stuff with. You can make it look like your windows break in your house, which is always good. Always a cool look. So use some of those effects. Um, I will put the links to all that stuff um, in the assignment. And uh, the other thing I want to talk to you guys about are some more resources um, that I'm going to give you um, as far as the assignment goes. Um, so let's see here. Uh, for the trailer, what we're going to do is we're not going to have a screenplay because a screenplay for our trailer would just be a ton of scene headings because we're always going to be basically every shot is going to be a new location. You're never really going to stay in one location for multiple shots in a trailer. You're always moving. Um, and so basically our pre-production is going to be just our storyboard. Um, but as we talked about with the with the review of trailer, there's a, a couple pieces that help us to kind of into that trailer shape. Um, the first of which is the green trailer screen at the front end. Um, I uploaded this one as a JPEG that just anyone can just grab and just use um, at the front. But if you want to get fancy with it, um, the, I actually also uploaded this Photoshop file um, that you can then choose like what rating you want. Um, right, you can do you could do a G rated, you could do, you know, whatever, I don't know, some different letter. Um, you know, you can do all sorts of crazy things. You can change the, like I changed it to this following proof and approved to be totally awesome by your mom. Um, you could change the website down here. You could, this, the following preview has been approved to be terrible. Oops, don't do that. Um, by the world, I don't know. And so you can, um, if you have Photoshop installed, you can download the Photoshop trailer screen and, and change it to your liking. Even if you don't have Photoshop, I found this website here, photop.com. And all you have to do is do file open and open the file that I'm going to give you guys, the green template, and then it's basically Photoshop online. So again, you can choose the 
the rating you want. You can you can type extra text into it. If you want to make it red, you can make it red. Change the websites at the bottom, right? Um, and so it's it's easy to just edit um, this online. You don't even have to have Photoshop installed. Um, so if you're using Rush, it might be a good idea to download this file, open it in PhotoP, then save it as a JPEG, send it to your phone, and throw that at the beginning of your trailer. Um, that'll take you five minutes um, and just get your trailer off on the right foot and, and feeling good from the get-go. Um, so I've got the link to PhotoP um, in the assignment as well. Um, so I would start off by throwing that sucker at the front of your trailer, and then I always like to have a bookend. And so I've made you guys um, this template of um, of the trailer credits um, with the font um, that that I used to make this. So check this out. The font, and I included the font is called Steel Tongs. And the way steel tongs works is if you hold if your capital letters they're they're just letters right like this but if you use a lowercase letter like lowercase letter a is written by and lowercase letter b is casting by and lowercase letter c so it makes it really easy to kind of get that trailer credit look um i just kind of put in some you know bob smith and sally smith names um, and things like that to make it a little easier to kind of, I don't know, I thought this was a good layout. layout. It took me like two minutes to make. Um, and you can, you know, take this and edit in Photoshop. If you want, you can just take the steel tongs font and install it on your machine and then just create your own style in right in Premiere. You don't even have to have Photoshop. As long as you have the font, um, you're in business. Um, and if you've never downloaded a font before, um, I don't think it'll let you do it on um, the school computers, but if you have a, um, you know, a personal computer, you just download the font, and then here it is. It's the TTF file, and when you double-click it, you just hit install right here. It'll install um, this font onto your machine, and then you always want to install your fonts first, and then start up Premiere um, or Photoshop because it loads the fonts when the program starts up. I'll include the font. I'll include this template um, on the assignment. I tried to put this file on to PhotoP. The problem was, and I'm going to see if there's a solution for it, is that when you try to edit it, it, it says, well, I don't have that font. And so it, it freaks out a little bit um, and it doesn't look right. It, it gets rid of, you know, because it doesn't have that font. So it substitutes that font um, for something different. And the font is what really makes it work. Um, I mean, I guess it's, you know, not that hard to recreate yourself. It's just that the Steel Tongs font makes, makes life really, really easy. Um, so unfortunately, you can't edit this one in PhotoP. You'd have to have Photoshop or Premiere to use this font um, or I, I guess any other kind of image editing software um, that you can you can use custom fonts on. Um, so I think that's a pretty useful tool as well. Uh, let's see here. So if we look at the assignment, which lives here, and we create one from existing, Uh, trailer pre-production, we're going to create a storyboard of about 30 to 40 boards. I think your best, another thing that will really help us will be to break it into kind of act one, two, and three, right? And choose three different tracks of music so that you kind of have your act one music and your act two music and your act three music. Or you could maybe even kind of use the same track for acts two and three and just kind of get into a more um, explosive part of the song. We're going to use at least one split screen effect somewhere in the trailer. Um, so it could be a phone call, it could be a clone, it could be a ghost effect, it could be, um, you know, just showing, um, you know, and I, it doesn't have to be a phone call, but kind of that same idea of a phone call where you're showing, you know, two different shots at the same time. You know, it could be you running on one half of the screen and you crying on the other half of the screen or something like that. I don't know. Um, and then it's optional, of course, to use whip, wipe, pop, and color effects, but those are tools that we have in our toolbox now, and we should be using them 
whenever we can to create you know better products um, so the resources that i've included on the assignment um, is a link to the google drive folder that has the credit template the green template the plain green one and then the steel tongs font those are all um, in that link um, the stock special effects this is a link to my server so that um, there we go it connects and there they are all the folders you can download entire folder at a time or you could just come inside and and just download one at a time i, I would recommend just downloading each folder that you think you might need um, and uh, download those uh, we've got the trailer outline document um, on this assignment so that you can look at that if you need to revisit that. We've got, uh, I don't know why I have the font here by itself. I guess I can get rid of that because it's in the um, green banding credits. Um, oops, I downloaded it. Let's see, can I remove it? There we go. And then um, the link to the Photoshop online, photop.com. Um, we're going to have the pre-production be due April 19th. So that is after next week. Uh, next week, I'm going to give you guys two days in class to kind of build your pre-production. Um, and I would recommend first step would be to choose the genre. And then we're going to take a day to kind of, or at least half a day, to kind of look at trailers, right? Go out and find a trailer that you, um, that matches your, Sorry, Calvin's talking. Uh, a trailer that kind of matches your genre and subgenre, a couple of them, and watch them and start to get those ideas. And then the next day, on Thursday of next week, um, we'll really dedicate to drawing um, and coming up with our plans for our, our trailer. Um, and then your know, asynchronous work on Monday the 19th would be to finish that up. Um, I don't really have, I, I guess your asynchronous work this weekend could be your, um, your, rough, your final draft for Run Little Run. Um, but I would say really, we just kind of want to pick what genre and kind of what style of trailer it is that we want to emulate, um, at this time. So I'm going to assign that to you guys, uh, right now. And then the other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about before we go is, especially for people who are using rush is, um, you know, maybe you can't use green screen, but I, I was thinking like, well, what other kind of things would I be doing if we were at school? And I was like, well, we would be doing a lot of stuff with lights. And obviously, you know, you might not have lights available to you, but um, you can kind of come up with ways to shape light and that can kind of create some really cool effects and you can create what's called a gobo. Um, and so like if I, if I get it real dark in here and then I'm gonna turn my, camera's auto exposure off so that it actually gets dark in here like that um, and what I found was this cheese grater uh, in my uh, kitchen and I was like you know what this would make a good gobo a gobo is anything that shapes light like has cutouts in it um, and so then I got my phone and I think all of us have phones with lights on them so then if I you know, use the light in the cheese grater, I can kind of shape the light into these dots. And that can be a really cool looking shot um, for your character in your movie. Um, you could get a piece of cardboard if you got some spare cardboard from an Amazon box or something, cut slits in it, and you can have lines across your character. You can do dots, you could do random dots. If you've got any kind of thing in your house, like, um, a di I don't know. Some people have disco balls. Some people have LED lights in their room. Some people have um, clear. You can get like a clear colored plastic and put it over a light to change the light's color. It's called a gel. Um, if you have RGB lights, you can um, really create some really cool looks. If you you know get into a dark space and and turn on your um, RGB lights, you there we go. You can create something pretty wild and cool. Uh, that way as well. And, you know, we might not have really crazy special effects that we can rely on, but light is something that we can really mess with and create uh, some really cool effects with. So whether that's shaping the light or coloring the light in a way or bouncing or reflecting the light in a way, 
Um, those are all things that, you know, if you do that three or four times throughout the trailer, it would really take it to the next level and kind of spice it up a little bit. Um, and so those are all things that we can think about and, and kind of like, what, what things in my house do I have uh, that I can do that with? And uh, headlights, car headlights look really cool on film, give really good lens flares. Um, as you saw in uh, the Aftermath trailer we watched the other day and the Doodle Bob episode, there were some cool lens flares. Um, flashlights look really good on film. Like even if I kill these, there we go. You know, and just just stuff like this um, can look really cool um, on film if you you know shoot and you you get your exposure right. Remember, you use your phone, tap on the phone so the exposure locks, um, so you get that really dark background. It doesn't auto brightness everything up to look bad again. Um, you know, but you can shape the light and do some do some crazy stuff with it, um, and really create some cool images for your characters. Um, just by getting creative, even just with a piece of cardboard. All right, so let's turn on my, see when I turn on that auto exposure, see how grainy it looks? Ooh. All right, let's get some light back in here though. Sunshine. All right, there we go. So uh, let's see here. That is just about all I've got for you guys today as far as ideas go between compositing, light, gobos, um, you know, different ideas for trailers, the structure. I think I've got you guys as loaded and ready as I can. And we're kind of at the point now where you guys have to start to take charge and say, okay, well, this is the style of genre I want to do, uh, the genre and subgenre. This is the style I want to do with a voiceover or with my characters or with text and start plan, uh, start looking at other trailers that, um, that are of your same genre and subgenre so you can get ideas for it. Um, and so the question, hopefully you guys have been thinking about this as we've been going. And the question that I want to pose to you guys today as we leave is right here. Swap it. There it is. Um, for our exit ticket today, which I need to click right here. Uh, Natalie's asking what's a good app for sound effects. Um, I don't know if there's a good app for sound effects. I think there is a website, um, freesound.org, I think. Um, yeah, this is the one. Freesound.org um, is really good. So let me type that in. It has free sound effects. So and it should be searchable. So if I search for gunshot and search, there we go. Gunshot distant, gunshot.wave, layered gunshot, gunshots. And I think you can play them right in the browser window. <laughs> Woo, that was hot. Yep. So you can play them right there. And then if you want it, you just click it in. Oh, you got to log in to download. That stinks. Um, so, I mean, I'm sure it's a free login. It's too bad you can't just download it for free. Um, you know, use a fake email when you log in, maybe. And then the other option that you have when you're looking for sound effects is just YouTube. And if we search for like um, fire sound effect, right? Here we go. Um, I don't want, here we go. 16 seconds, that's better. And then I would just download this clip and then only use the sound when I'm editing. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the image at all. I mean, you could, and you could try and key out the black, I guess, but um, I would use freesound.org or um, download sound effects off of YouTube. There we go. Um, so that's probably the best bet that I can give you. Um, anyway, the question that I want to ask you in the exit ticket is um, what genre of trailer do you think and subgenre as well so if you're gonna do an action you gotta say i'm doing action ninja or i'm doing action superhero or i'm doing thriller hacker or i'm doing you know um comedy buddy buddy cop comedy or i'm doing you know um horror witches uh and and, and thinking about that uh let's see here 